A Sunday newspaper revealed that the chief whip's son, Mkonto Wesizwi Majodina, had been linked to an ANC caucus PPE procurement deal. According to the report, the deal supplied PPEs worth more than 50,000 rand to ANC constituency officers. Some of Majodina's fellow ANC colleagues have called for action to be taken. It is really unfortunate and regrettable. However, this is an opportunity for the ANC leadership to prove to the country and its membership that they are serious about dealing with nepotism, malfeasance and unethical behavior against any of its members found wanting. And not just a tool to be used in fighting factional battles. The ANC needs to act decisively. We have not been sent to Parliament to earn fat salaries and create business opportunities for our families. I think what is uh, important for me with regard to this matter is uh, for the ANC to be consistent in dealing with those that are found to be acting outside the values and ethics of the organization. You may recall that uh, when it was the son of Ace Mahashule during the 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 PPE sagas. There was a halabalu in the country uh, and when it's the son of the president uh, people uh, tend to accept that uh, it's correct. Uh, now it's the son of the chief whip. I think uh, even in the public domain uh, we must be consistent in criticizing any nepotism, any corruption. In the same breath, we must appreciate the fact that uh, the chief whip of the majority party in parliament uh, is willing to cooperate and uh, she has indicated that uh, she will volunteer to go to the integrity commission of the African National Congress. Mutle added that the party is already battling with the perception that it's corrupt. He says this incident adds to that narrative. In a statement released on Sunday, Majodina indicated that she's willing to appear before the ANC National Integrity Commission. She said she regrets her son's involvement in the deal and is aware this may be perceived as an abuse of office. Majodina has also indicated that she will subject herself to a parliamentary ethics probe if called upon to do so. Abra Barbia, SABC News, Parliament.